Welcome back guys. Once upon a time, there were two lazy weavers named Grace and John. And Grace and John were blessed because they lived in a world of infinite wealth. Everybody was born with an infinite amount of money. And so everybody was very happy. But whereas the other townsfolk took this as a blessing and continued to work hard and led productive lives, Grace and John were lazy bastards who never did a stroke of work their entire freaking lives. Now you may think that this is a fairy tale, but oh no, <laughs> this is a very, very real situation. Let's, um, let's have a look, shall we? Um, before, before we get into the story of Grace and John and look at their details, uh, a couple of things quickly. First of all, I want to get everybody off my back about churches needing cores. Okay, so I'm going I'm, I'm to doubly make sure that I'm selecting this church, not this church. Okay, if we look at this church, uh, if we just display the desirability for a second, um, you'll see that it's, it's all like pretty red around here. Um, so, yeah, we're not, we're not getting any desirability bonus from the church. And um, many people have commented, oh, you've got to have a core. The church doesn't have a core. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Uh, what am, what am I looking for? Let's turn that off now. Um, well, okay, so we'll add a core. So let's put um, let's put a core on here. Where are we? Core. Let's put a core. Let's put a core there. And you know what? I'll even make it a little bit bigger. Uh, about that big. Yeah. And I'll even put a door on it. I'll put a door on it. You know what? I'll even put some freaking stained glass on it. How about that? Yeah, come on. There you go. Have some stuff. Do you want a gargoyle? You can have a freaking gargoyle on it as well if you want. If I can actually get it to go on there. There we go. Gargoyle. You want a gargoyle on the other end? Okay, I have two gargoyles. Oh, you want a door on this end as well? Fine, we'll have a door on this end as well. Okay, fine. Fine, I'm happy to please. And there we go. And what do you want on this side? Do you want some freaking, I don't know, um, wall fountains? Let's have some wall fountains then. On there, and turn you around. On there. Cool, okay. So we've got, we've got a little, I don't know. Make up some some story for, for whatever that is. I don't know. Customs house. That'll do. Right. So let's get that built. Uh, start construction. Right. So that will solve the problem, won't it? All you people who've been telling me, add a core to the building, and the residential desirability will be improved. All righty. Well, we'll freaking see about that, won't we? Let's go back to this. So I've been looking at why we've got um, some minor issues. With, with supplying all of our goods and stuff. And some of them, some of them are my fault, right? It's, that's, I totally accept that. Some are not, and that's what I want to talk about. So, what, like some of the issues are my fault. For example, I haven't got an extraction zone down here for these berries. So now we, I mean, okay, we're doing okay for berries. We've got like 320, but we should probably have a lot more than that. Right, so extraction zone, done. Uh, our wool situation and clothing in general is not improved by the fact that I haven't actually got all my sheep going. So, for example, this one here. Let's spawn some sheep. There's somebody working there, but they haven't got any, any sheep to shear. Um, shall I bring up, my, bring up my villagers list? Now, uh, before this episode started, I ran it on just for a little bit. I didn't do anything, but I just ran it on just to get a few people. I've got 10 unemployed people that I can utilize because I'm going to be utilizing them. Alrighty, so now I've acknowledged that some of the issues are my fault. Um, now we'll get into some of the issues that aren't my fault. So let's go and investigate Grace and John. So here's Grace. Uh, this is this is their house. This is where they live. Um, and they work a long, long way away. Here. <laughs> Grace and John. Hooray. But you'll notice, zero wool, zero clothes. Let's follow Grace and see what... Let's have a day in the life of Grace. So, she's in here. And she's in bed with John, practicing yodeling. That's what they tell people. I don't know. Don't ask me. That's what they tell people. People are like, well, those strange noises coming from your house all, all, all hours of the day and night. Oh, we're practicing yodeling. Oh, okay. So, here she comes. She must be going to work. 
Nope, she's looking to fill her needs. And she needs clothing, right? So, now she can't, let the, pause for a second, stop. If we look over here, they've got no clothing here, right? So, now this is, this is another issue, right? The fact that there's no clothing for sale here means that she has to fulfill that need somewhere else. So, oh, come on. So, let's speed things up and see where she goes. Well, she goes somewhere else to get some clothes. And she trolls all the way over to the little, the little coastal farming village to get some stuff. And while she's there, she fulfills her other needs. So she got some bread while she was there. And then she races all the way over here again. Now that is, that is, that's perfectly legitimate. There aren't any clothes. But now she's got all that, she should go to work. work. Uh, no, apparently, no. Um, what, what are you doing now? You're looking for, oh, you've gone to church. Good. Yeah, you need to. Now, she, is she gonna go to work? Uh, no, she's gonna get some berries, she's gonna get some water, and she's gonna go back home again, in bed, practicing yodeling. And what are you gonna do now? And the answer is, she's gonna freaking stay there until she needs something else. Bread, some berries, clothing. Uh, she's never going to go to work. Um, so, huh. the problem is, this building is actually bugged. Oh yeah. Uh, and it's a freaking shame, but it is what it is. Now, I've checked the other weaver's huts, and the other weaver's huts are actually working. Right? But this one, so you know, 12 clothes. Uh, but this one isn't. So, uh, let's get rid of it and rebuild it, and that will fix it. Now, before any, before I get snotty, e uh, well, not emails, comments from people saying, it's an early access game. How dare you point out a bug in an early access game? Um, you know, I'm not criticizing the game. I'm just explaining what's happening, okay? I really like the game. Calm down. I'm not like having a go and saying, oh my God, this is a buggy piece of crap. Like, it's early access. Of course it's going to have bugs in it. Jeez, people are so, people are so touchy. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Oh yeah, I was building it. <laughs> Seriously, like I spend half my time these days like explaining like why I'm saying things because people are so touchy. Right, so let's put that back in. And that'll work now. Now that does mean though, right, we, we had four weavers here. Uh, one of those weaver buildings just wasn't working ever, right? And the problem is that you get into vicious circles in this game, like really easily. Because what happens is, we're not producing enough clothes, okay? So, people have to go to other places to get clothes. And that means that they're, they're not working. They're spending a lot of time walking all the way over here to get something and walking all the way back. And then they don't have time to do a lot of work. And that means that they're not producing much and you get into a vicious circle of they just spending all of their time walking all over the map and not doing any work and it affects everything so so yeah so not having like having a building bugged out could cause like a massive problem so there you go right but we're going to we're going to like solve this clothing problem i want everybody to have freaking clothes so we're going to go we're going to go clothes crazy so i think what we'll do we'll put in as well as having that weaver, I'm going to put in another freaking weaver. Um, it's very noisy. It's quite noisy when you z zoom in. Yeah, do, 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 do. I might turn, you know what, I'm, I'm going to turn the freaking sound down a little bit. I don't know, like, I don't know whether it's got reset or something. No, that, that's how I had it set. I'm just going to, I'm just going to turn everything down a little bit because it's all, it's all kind of noisy. There we go. That's better. Now it's kind of a low hum. I can live with that. Uh, what the hell was I doing? I was putting in a weaver, wasn't I? Yeah. Let's get rid of Grace. We've had enough of Grace. Lazy so and so's. Um, what do I want? I want a weaver's hut. So I think we'll put a weaver in over here because it's kind of like right next to the sheep. So that'd be good. Um, I was just pressing the M and N keys to rotate it. <laughs> Been playing too much transport fever. Right. Let's put you in. I, I don't think I've got room to squeeze a house in as well. Um, no, that's, I don't want it to be, I don't want it to look crowded. 
So let's put that in there. And oh, and then I want to put some. I want to put some more sheep in. Is what I want. Let's get um, sheep farm. So I'm putting that in there. Where am I going to put my sheep? I think I'm going to put my sheep over here, and we'll put a couple of. I've got to put a couple of houses in. So I'm thinking if I have a, like a house there, house there, and then a couple of sheep out here, that'd work, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's do the let's do the houses. So we'll have a uh, house there and house there. Let's let those build. I've got homeless people. There's one. You're going to give me there's two. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. So now we can get a couple of sheepy farms going on. Where are we, sheep farm? Do 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 do. They can play hide and seek with the sheep in the woods. That'd be nice for them. So let's have one there. Let's turn you around a bit, maybe. And yeah, you go there. That'll all be very nice. So we're going to have um, two more lots of wool production and two more weavers and we'll see what that does to the production of clothing in this town now the thing is if we can actually get enough clothing being produced in this town these people will stop look 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 how many people are going backwards and forwards and i'm pretty sure that 90 percent of this traffic is because they're going for clothes uh, it may be that they're also going for bread right because bread isn't getting that high either so I'm sure that there are people looking for bread. Look how many people are going backwards and forwards. I reckon if we can stop the clothing, it'll actually fix the bread. Because I'm pretty sure that there's lots of people working in the, uh, in the bread production industry who are just wasting so much time going backwards and forwards that if they were actually doing their jobs, we'd have loads of freaking bread. I guess we'll find out, won't we? So we've built a weaver's hut, hooray. Oh, and John is already working there. Grace. Grace can't be bothered, apparently. She's like, yeah, I might work there. I uh, might not. There we go, finally. Thank you, Grace. Now, are they actually going to work now? It's a good question. Let's have a look. Uh, Grace, let's follow you. Are you going to do any work now? Oh, that's where you are. You're actually working. She is producing clothes. Hooray. And there was... Quite a lot of rejoicing at that fact. Hey, so we, our weaver's hut is now working. Good, good, good. All right, cool. And now we've got this weaver over here. Um, we want the people from this house. So, boom, boom. Oh, we've got, we've got female 998. Do you live there? Yes, you do. That's okay. I don't mind that. But, like, why didn't it, why didn't it get male 738? He lives closer. Why didn't it get him? Don't know. Don't know. This is why, if you want to, like, totally optimise it, you need to do it, like, one house at a time. Right, now we've got our sheepy buildings. Let's spawn some sheep. Spawn some sheep. Uh, assign a villager. Assign a villager. Uh, make sure that they're living here. So, you're... God, who are you? Where the hell are you from? Oh, you're from here. That's fine. And you're male 530. Who the hell are you? It should be female 1975. Let's get rid of you. Female 998, she's working as a weaver, that's fine. Female 1975 isn't doing anything. It should be you working there. Let's set you up as a shepherd. Come on, go and work there. Damn it. You gonna show up for work? Like ever? No. What the hell are you doing? Are you, are you working somewhere else? If you're working somewhere else. You're, you're shearing sheep over here. This is female 1975. Now, you know what? Let's just, let's just see. Because she was shearing sheep. Oh, look. She's working over there. What the hell are you doing there? Don't work there. I need to get somebody working there then. Um, but we need to get female 1975 working at this one. 
So now if I say assign available work, well, no, because that, that didn't work last time. Let's try now. If I set you up as a shepherd now, where are you going to work? You should work there. That's the closest one. Boneheaded woman. What are you doing? Where are you going? The thing is... I don't, I, yeah, I mean, she should work at that one. It's the closest freaking one. <laughs> Where on earth? She's looking to fill her needs. I think it. I think it's. It waits until she's actually going to work to actually figure out. Like, okay, so where am I going to work then? Since I don't have a job assigned already. Oh, here we go. Preparing to work, and she's going to work at this freaking one. Okay. Well, we need to stop that. So you're fired. Get out of there. Oh man. They're trying to keep this optimized. Quite difficult. We'll we'll have to put in another house down here, which. I kind of didn't really want to do. Hang on, have I got somebody working there? Yeah, I've got somebody working there. Why isn't there anybody working here? And the thing is, I don't know if I've got anybody kind of local. Oh, no, hang on. No, it wasn't that one. It was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna, we've got to put another freaking house in. The thing is, I don't like assigning like what. Oh, you know what? I can I can get them working here, can't I? Yeah. Let's okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's grab a house. Let's put a house in there. Hooray! Awesome. So we've got two people. Uh, we'll have one of you working here. Hopefully, let's try it. Assign an available. Oh yes. So now we've got male sixteen seventy one. I want you working here. No, it's picked up female 1824. No, no, I don't want you working there. What a pain. Like, like, where do you even live, male 1824? Female 1824. Uh, oh, you live there. No, no, that's, that's not where you live. Female 1824. Here we go, follow you. Where do you live? If you live close by, okay, so you're working there, that's fine. Even though I fired you. So you're working there. Where do you, like, where do you live? Answer, you don't live anywhere, you're freaking unemployed. So why is it assigning you? Right, you don't have a freaking house. Okay, you're fired. Right, she's gone. So where, like, um, I just built a house. Where'd I freaking built it? <laughs> build it, right, rather. Uh, this was the guy that I wanted working. Let's assign you as a shepherd and see if we can get you working there. Oh, hooray. Male 1671 is now working there. So hopefully, now I can go back over here. Um, where the hell did I build that freaking house? Um, um. Uh, Ah, oh, here we go. Female 1975. So now, if I assign you to be a shepherd, where are you going to work? You should be here. <laughs> She's going to find somewhere freaking else to work. Where are you going to work? You build that one. Don't have to worry about that. Get rid of that. Um, get rid of that. Oh, hooray, she's working in the right place. Okay, well, that didn't take much sorting out, did it? <laughs> Good Lord. Um, I already put the weavers in, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so. Now we've got uh, more wool production, more clothes production in this town. Now, let's, let's go and visit Robin. This is Robin. Do you remember Robin? Nobody likes Robin. Robin actually has some clothes to sell now. But let's... Um, actually... That's actually turned things around pretty well. He's got decent stocks. Let's follow Robin and see what's going on with Robin. Yeah, see, Robin has had very, like, has had no stock most of the time. But now, because we've added, I mean, we've added, like, what? Uh, we've gone from... From uh, six weave, six work weavers working to ten, right? Which is quite a big increase in production. So now, 
See, now we're not going to show. Uh, I should have showed you this before I did the improvements. Um, I found Robin, if, if I just pause for a second. I found Robin was actually, like when he needed clothing, he was actually going over here. Which of course was making the situation worse because he was he's off over there. So he's not loading up um, the market store with clothes. He doesn't, he doesn't need to be there to sell, by the way. Market tenders don't need to be there to sell. But they need to be going out and bringing, you know, bringing goods back to the store to be sold. But because there weren't any clothes, clothes uh, there, because Robin's off, like getting his clothes, everybody else has got to go over to somewhere else to get their clothes. Again, vicious, vicious circle. So um, we'll carry on. We'll see what well, let's, well, we can follow Robin for a bit. So he's got, he's gone home. We're almost out of clothes. Now where are, where are you going, Robin? See, because we haven't got many clothes there. He may need to go over here. Now you may say, yeah, but there are clothes there. But the thing is, they get reserved. So where are you going, Robin? You're going... Yeah, look. He's just gone to that clothing stall to get his clothes. Because... Now, I don't know if it's just like a, a, a tender thing where they can't buy from their own stall. I mean, I guess that's possible. I haven't followed other vendors to see if they if they can buy from their own place. I'm, I don't know. Um... Yeah. Now, if that actually, it's a good point because if that is the case, then you actually need two lots of stalls in a in a marketplace. And I was thinking about this, and having having two two stalls because I'm I'm kind of centralising. Having two lots of stalls wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But you can see the clothes market over here hasn't got any clothes, and because we haven't got any clothes. Right, everybody's having to go miles away. Now, if we had a second market, uh, a second clothes market here, then if one runs out because for some reason the guy's gone walkabout or whatever, then there's there's another place where they can get stuff. So yeah. Now the thing is, our weavers. If we look, you've got nine clothes. You've only got two because you're a pair of slackers. Uh, you've got seventeen. You've got 12. So I'm just going to put the weaver's huts up here. We're going to, we're going to spend this episode. We're going, to, we're going to take an episode off from, from epicness. And we're just going to focus on like the mechanics. Because I, I kind of like the mechanics in this game. So that's that one. Two, three. There's one more. There it is. Okay. So ideally, to, to be efficient... We want these guys to produce a lot of stuff um, before good old Robin goes to go and collect it. Let's, let's follow Robin. So, to be efficient, when he goes to these places, right, if they've got like, you know, 10 plus in stock, then it's it's a good thing. He can bring, he can bring back 10 in one go. Um, he can bring back more. He can bring back like 20 in one go, right? But if he's got to go, get, like, go and get like one or two and bring it back, because that's all they've got. Like, go and get one or two, and then go and get one or two from there, and go and get one or two from there. We, we need him to be bringing back a lot more. It's out of bread now. Poor Robin. Where, where are you, you going to go to get some bread? Can you get some bread? Like, he's got some berries. Went home for a bit. Oh, now he's going and collecting. But there's only this, well, there's, no, actually this one's got a decent amount. This one's got 12. Ah, so he's just gone and got the big lot from there. This one's got 11. Are you going to go and get these at some point? So he's, he's getting small amounts, which isn't really helping too much. Oh, yeah, he's got the, he's got the big lot now. Cool. But we are struggling to, to keep up with, uh, with demand, even with like five weavers going on. But that may well be uh, because we're getting people from coming from like other areas and stuff. Or it may be that like five weavers just isn't enough for a town this big. But I kind of find that hard to believe. How are we doing for wool? We still haven't got like a massive excess of wool. Look at our... Um, our berries is doing well now. That's good. 
bread, not so much. So I think, I think we need more, more clothing going on. Um, the thing is, I don't really want to make this village any bigger. Uh, but I know that, that like this is not going to be enough. Like one weaver isn't going to produce enough clothing for all of these people. Um, so what we could do over here is put in um, uh, uh, what the hell is it called? I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, what's it called? Uh, a warehouse. We could put a warehouse over here and get the transporters to help bring stuff in, which um, which is an idea. And then we could put some more weavers and bakers over here. So let's see, let's see, let's see what we can do. So what do I want? On a warehouse. Um, it would have been really cool if I could have fitted it in the centre there. Maybe if I rotate it round a bit. Oh, I think we, I think we could squeeze that in there, don't you? Yeah. There we go. In it goes. Now, while we're putting in warehouses, let's. Um, I want. I want a warehouse over here as well. Like at least one. I'm thinking maybe over here would be a good place. Maybe maybe kind of tucked up here in this corner. So let's put you in there. Okay, so we'll get some transporters going. Um, now they'll help with distribution, but it doesn't kind of solve the fundamental problem of not having enough stuff. We don't have enough wool. We're not producing enough wool. So we need some more sheep. So. God, um, where where can I put some freaking sheep farmers in? I could put a couple over here. I have a cottage here and a couple of sheep farmers. Yeah, go on, let's do that. So what do I want? I want uh, not that. Well, actually, I do want that. Let them well put this in. So if we if we have a house going on over here, uh, yeah, we'll have, a, we'll have a house going on over there. And then we'll have a couple of sheep farms going on. Like one over there and one over here. Cool. Okay, so that'll be a bunch more wool going on. And I don't know, let's uh, let's have let's have some weavers over here. Yeah, let's have some weavers over here. So what do I want? Weaver so I'm going to break this path up as well. Make them, make them go around. So let's have, um, let's have a weaver right there, slap back in the middle of the, bang in the middle of the path. We'll have another one over here as well. Um, like there. Cool. And then we want a couple of houses for those guys, don't we? Yeah, we do. I'm going to need, let's see, we're going to need some more people. Bring some more people into town. So, a couple of residences. Can we get we, we can get a couple of residences in here, surely. We're gonna get a couple of couple of houses building in there. I, you know, I should have put them in it. I should have put them in individually rather than putting them in like that. Let's take that out. So we want one there and one there. That's better. Cool. Might have to put some uh, some flowers in. Oh no, they're building okay. But I can I can put some flowers in as well. Make them happy. Where did it do do? What do I want? Decorative bush. There we go. That made things a bit nicer. Yeah, it's all nice and green. They'll be very happy there. All right, cool. So we've got that going on. We've got this going on down here. Awesome. So we've got two people living in here. Yes, we have. Desirability is a bit low. Let's, let's crank them up with a couple of, couple of little bushes. Makes the road look nicer as well. Is it still low desirability? 
Should be should be a bit nicer now. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Get over yourselves. What the hell was I doing? Um, I'm going to assign these people to work in these sheep farms. So this is definitely the house. Yeah. We want male five thirty. That's fine. And you, female eighteen twenty four. Hooray! That worked. <laughs> God, it's nice when something actually works. Uh, okay, we've got four more people. So uh, let's turn that off for a bit, and let's get this going. This house. Oh, yeah, it is building. Hooray! Good news. Good times. So we've got a couple of houses going on over there. Sweet. So let's get you one, two. Let's see. They should be from these houses. This one and this one. So we've got male 16, 13. Yes. And female blah, blah, blah. That's fine. And you. Assign, assign. Yes, yes. Hooray. That's all working. Okay. So we've got a lot more going on. Is, is what we've got. Um, I am still thinking, though, that... Okay, I've added two sheep farmers and I've added two weavers. I think we need to add some more sheep farmers. Um, because we're not kind of getting that little... You want a little bit of an excess of the raw materials. Because in the same way that I was saying about the market tender... You know, like going to, to get like a couple from here and a couple from here and a couple from here. Rather than being able to go and get full stacks. Um, it's the same thing with the, the weavers going to farms. You know, they want to be able to go to a farm. And instead of picking up one wool, they want to be able to go grab a stack of like 15 or something. And we're not getting that. Because we just don't have enough wool production. So, we're going to crank up a bit more. Let's uh, let's put in let's put in another house up here. Um, uh, you know, I'm kind of tempted to put in like four sheep farms. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put in two houses there, and I'm going to put in four sheep farms to try and finally get on top of this. So um, I was pressing the. Just pressing the M and N keys again to try and rotate the, the blubbered sheep farms. Let's have um, one there and one there. That's two. And then I'd really like it if these houses got built there. Okay, so there's one. Where's the other one? The other one's next to it there. So sheep farms, sheep farms. So the first one's going to be about there. And do I put one behind? Yeah, I guess I put one behind, kind of. There would be good, wouldn't it? Try and rotate it a bit. That way. There. All right, cool. So, four more lots of wool. That, I'm hoping, is going to get us kind of over the hump at least here, so that our weavers can start producing like full on. And we're already getting a bit better with production. Now, what, what I want to see is a lot less people going in backwards and forwards here. That's what we're trying to get to. Okay, I've got four people, which is as many as I need at the moment. So let's turn that off. Got the first house going, we've got the second house there. That one's already done. So where did I put them up? Oh, yes. There, there. There and there. Right, cool. Come on, builders. Get to work. Crank it up. I'm going to be I'm gonna be so freaking happy. Look, our, our bread seems to be improving. I mean, only like a tiny little bit. But I think it is getting slightly better. And hopefully it's because people aren't having to walk around quite as much. If we can actually fix this and get clothing way up, I think bread's going to work out. So let's get a um, bunch of sheep. Assign somebody. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Make sure that we're getting the right people. Well, it can only be these four people, so I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to check. No, I'm just going to wing it. 
spawn the sheep, assign villager. Two more to go. Come on, boys, get a built. How are we doing? See, look, the, the wool is so low, and it means that our weavers are definitely not going to be at, at top efficiency. How are we doing? We get, oh, that one's built, right. Spawn the sheep, get somebody in there. And final one. Spawn the sheep, get somebody in there. All right, cool. So, my God, there's <laughs> plenty of sheep. There's no shortage of sheep. It's a Welsh paradise. Do you know what they call this in Wales? A leisure centre. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to get some stick for that. Never mind. Right. So, hopefully now our weavers, um, like one, I mean, it's going to take a, a few seconds for them to like start shearing the sheep and whatever. But see, they've got they've got four. They haven't got any. They haven't got any yet. What we want to start seeing is these sheep farms having like a lot in there. So rather than having like one, two, three, four, start seeing them having, you know, 10 plus. See, they've only got two. Oh, they've got six. Better. Are things gonna improve? Oh, seven in there. So, see, when a weaver goes there, instead of just picking up like one or two or three, so he's just grabbed, what, well, I guess five from there. Oh, I think it might be working. It might be working. All right, let's take a look. Uh, the wool situation, the wool situation is improving. And now, suddenly, oh my lord, clothing. We're starting to churn out some clothing. Hooray. So let's let's see. How you doing, Robin? Oh my god, he's got 41 clothes in stock. So hopefully. Let's let's follow Robin for a little bit, because I, I want to answer that question about whether whether a market tender has to go to another market to buy clothes. Because if that's the case then it's a very strong argument for building um, two of each type of market like close to each other. But I don't know, I don't know whether that is actually the, the issue. See, we're, he's almost out of stock. Here we go, he's bringing some more. Come on, Robin, you can do it. You can do it. Zoom in a little bit closer. See what he's doing. We're down to only three in stock. Yeah, okay, quick, quick trip, trip to the church. That's fine. Bring in some more clothes, but we're down to three, down to two, down to one in stock. Okay, now we're up to six. Come on, Robin. You can do it. You can make this work. Twelve in stock. Thirteen. See that. We need, we need more. We need more freaky clothing. Now, where are you off to? See, this is the problem. This is why I'm thinking that maybe we need a second market tender, or we need to do something with the with the transporters. Uh, let's get. Um, I need four more people. Oh, we lost him. We lost him. Yeah, so I'm guessing he was going to get clothing. And then he comes back. And then he's probably going to have loads of stuff. Yeah, because now the weavers have actually had a bit of time to, to make stuff. So he got 10 the first time. Yeah, probably something similar the second time. Uh, let's just have a look at the weavers. So they've got seven... They've only got four. Uh, where are the other weavers? Uh, how many have you got? So you've got 11. They've got 10. Grace and John are lazy. They've only got one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I am thinking that... I mean, there's... 
I could put another marketplace, and but like, where would I put it? The thing is, if I put another marketplace, like say over here or whatever, um, this is this place is just gonna. I, I know that I will just grow it further, and I don't really want to do that. I just want a small. I don't want this to get much bigger. Is what I'm trying to say. So how are we doing over here? You see, like 18 and 10. And what have we got over here? You've got three, three, and two. But I've got a sneaking suspicion that our market tender is going to be going to these ones and not necessarily grabbing. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, my lord. 16 to grab from there. Okay, so that, no, that seems to be fine. And look, we're over a hundred. My God, I think we've, I think we finally got on top of the clothing. We've never seen that before. But the, the, the thing that's surprising me now is that the bread situation's not good. But look at the happiness. We're at 99%. 99% happiness. Okay, like by any standards, that's pretty good. How are we doing here? Ooh, 25 in stock. My God. I'd have to run this for a little while, but we might we might be getting on top of this. If this is going to keep going up, that's going to be the question. Is this going to keep going up now so that we get like, you know, like 100, 200, 300 in stock? If we get like a lot in stock, then hopefully we can stop this issue of people like wandering around needing stuff. So we've got like 20 in there. How many have we got over here? You've got, oh, you got 20 in stock. Uh, how many you got in it over here? Only 14. Now, I, I'd be quite happy to put another marketplace up here for, for, for the city. Now, do I get do I get the transporters going? Yeah, I probably do. So I need uh, I need a couple of people. So I need a couple of workers. Let's I've got what I need now. So let's turn that down. Let's get a couple of people. Ooh man, I don't think there's room for a freaking house in here. I mean, I mean, you might squeeze a house in there. Should we see? Should we see if they can squeeze it? Can you get a house in there? I'll give you all the room I can. I don't think there's enough room. I could be wrong, but I don't think there is. Nah, they'd have built it by now if there was. So, no. Uh, where should we put it then? I, I don't think there's room there, but we could try. Is there room for a house there? I don't think there is. Again. Okay, so let's put one. Let's put one up here then. Yeah, see straight away. Okay, so let's not not have one there. Okay, so what are we going to do with our transporters? Well, the idea is going to be um, that they bring in stuff from the outside world, and then our market vendors, instead of having to potentially go a long way to get stuff, can just go here and get it. That's the idea. So, uh, let's see. We've got... These two are in their house. So, let's see if these are the two that we actually get working here. So, the house is built. Why can't I... Why can't I click on the warehouse? Oh, it's this. <laughs> Idiot. Let's try that again. Yeah. Put it up in the top corner for some reason. Okay, so let's assign a couple of people... Uh, and it's not the, these people. <laughs> that is so frustrating when it assigns like random people. So the thing is, if I build a house now, like over here, and they go and live there, that's totally screwed up. So, no, no. So what if I say I want you to be a transporter and I want you to be a transporter? 
let's see if they go and work in this place. The thing is, there are, I think there are open vacancies in other places where they might go and work as transporters. Oh, man. So now I've got to track down where they might see. They might have gone to work here. Oh, what a freaking surprise. Now, why have they gone to work there when they could have worked at this place? So I've got to fire them from here. So. Okay, let's um, let's build a house over here. You see what I mean, though, about the, like, the optimization? Now, I'm sure that this will get better when the, when the game is more developed. But at the moment, it's a bit of a pain. Let's put a house over there. Okay, so we'll find out who's living here. This is these two. So which I've lost track of which warehouse is which. Let's get rid of these. Let's bring up this warehouse. So we want you two working here. Let's try assigning yes and no. I want male 1171. No, I don't want female 1215. Jesus. Okay, what if I assign you manually? So if I say, um, I want you to be a transporter. Will you work there? I bet he goes and works at the other one. I freaking bet you. You need to go and work over here, aren't you? No. Let's see. I wonder if I can get these two people working here now. So this is them, isn't it? 17, 22, and 289. No, it's just two freaking random people. No. Stop it. God. We've got... Oh, right. We've got the right people in that one. Good. Okay, let's try assigning this then. So, you, be a transporter. And you, be a transporter. And I think we've got it. Yes! Hooray! Okay, so, now that we've got the people working there, <laughs> now I can say, like, what goods do I want? So, in here, right, um, what do we want? Well, we've got weavers and we've got bakers in here. I need to put some more bakers in here. Uh, we need to bring stuff in from the outside world so that they don't have to walk as far to get stuff. So we we want to accept wool. We want to accept uh, flour from the mills. Uh, where's flour? There's flour. Cool. Um, yeah. So that's what we want. We, that's what we want them bringing in it here, so that our our bakers and our weavers are uh, more efficient. Cool. Now, I could get them to get uh, clothes and whatever. Clothes and bread and whatever. But that's not really what we want. The market tenders can get the, the, the stuff locally. Um, I mean, I could say berries, but like the berries are right here. So there's no need for that. So that's that. Now, over here, it's going to be a different story. Over here, what do we want? Well... We've only got one weaver. We've only got one baker. So we actually want the transporters to go and get the finished products. So we want bread. Accept bread and accept... Uh, what's the other thing? Bread and clothing. Bread and clothing. And you know what? I suppose you can bring berries in. It's a little bit of a walk. So you know what? Accept, accept berries as well. Okay, cool. So we'll see if that makes any freaking difference at all. Probably won't, but we'll we'll kind of see. Did I get, did I get the right things the right way round? Yeah. So let's see. Oh, good. He's bringing in wool, and then it was immediately snapped up by a weaver. Good job. Good job. Might, this might freaking work. Ha <laughs> ha. Wouldn't that be nice? We are, oh, we're up to almost 150 in clothing. So I'm going to say, we're going to call it an episode there. And I'm going to say, clothing, I've got on top of. we fixed the clothing. So now it's just a case of sorting out the, uh, the bread situation, which is not horrendous. 
it's not as bad as the clothing was. And I've got a sneaking suspicion that given a little bit of time, it might get a bit better. But I don't know. I have brought in like a fair number of people. How many have I brought in? Like I don't know, like 20 people. So that's put more strain on the bread. The, the berries is down to only only 350 in stock where we were at like 600. So so yeah, it is, it's a constantly moving target, but at least we fixed the freaking clothes. So we'll leave it there for this episode. Oh, before we go, before we go, I've got to show you the residential stuff, haven't I? Yeah, let's get rid of that, get rid of that. So now that we've got this church core, that should have solved all of our problems. This should be all bright green, shouldn't it? Let's have a look. Uh, desirability, residential. Hasn't changed a freaking thing. Not a jot. And just in case you're thinking, oh, maybe that, maybe that's not showing up properly. Uh, like, bring it up on, on this one. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Nothing has freaking changed at all. So no, adding a core doesn't solve the problem. <laughs> okay, right. So now we'll definitely leave it there for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.